What is good YouTube? Okay, so I fucked up the last video, which sucks. I tried to make a video, and clearly I fucked it up. Ended up pausing it, and it cut off short. I'm back. Um, okay, so I'm making this video right before I go to bed. I couldn't go to sleep. Um, this is something that was weighing on my mind uh, when I realized that I saw this earlier. I wanted to make a video about it, but I didn't. And obviously I thought about it, and... I'm like, you know what, I gotta make this fucking video. So before I go to sleep, b without further further ado, I would like people to see, um, and this is a short two-minute video, okay? Um, this is from a conference, a 2022 conference in, world, in which um, this panel is asking uh, and speaking about uh, none other, they're speaking to none other than uh, Gil Bates. You guys know who I'm talking about when I say that. It's in the title. You can see it clearly. Uh, but they're speaking to him about um, the next pandemic. And I wanted people to see what's going on here. And I want to see if you guys see what I see. Do you see what I see? Yeah. You guys let me know exactly what you think. Um, so again, this is a short video. But I want people to see what's going on here. And I want to see if you guys see what I see. If you do, please comment. Subscribe, comment. Please, guys. If you haven't already, that's cool. I'm new at this. Uh, I, I'm not expecting to be uh, to have a thousand subscribers overnight. But, uh, you know, my job and my duty here is to bring people unbiased information, unbiased news about what's going on in the world. You know, I don't want to bring anything that's biased you know that's a problem that's a problem we have in the world today is that journalism has turned into this completely biased thing in which they're trying to push their own agenda and i'm not doing that i'm not pushing any agenda here my job is to bring unbiased information unbiased news and i want you guys to decide how you feel about it so without further ado uh we'll play the video you guys let me know what you think here it's quite alarming and it's quite scary it's quite interesting as well but we gather a lot just out of these two minutes here so i'm going to play the video and you guys let me know what you think bill how confident are you that we as a global community will deal with the next pandemic better well you know, there were a lot of people in 2015 after the Ebola epidemic who were talking about uh, what needed to be done. And in this pandemic, uh, the countries that have mm. some exposure Ooh. to SARS. Time out, time out, time out. Ooh, beep, 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 back it up. All right, so like I said, just for two minutes, this is 26 seconds into this. We caught a lot. Now, the question was, what do you think? <sighs> How the world should prepare for the next pandemic, pretty much, right? Did you guys catch that? Did, did, he's trying to hide his hand because he realized that he's, he's, he's going to be... Everything that he does on this stage will be analyzed. And why? Because, I mean, it's kind of obvious i mean if, if if listen you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know this but if you've taken any course on psychology body language is key and this is something that you cannot hide no matter what you do so interrogations go a little something like this these are called tells now someone can be caught lying due to literally something that they cannot control. Now, what did we see here? Real fast. He scratched his nose. He looked extremely uncomfortable, guys. Extremely uncomfortable. He moved his body. He's, you know, uneasy clearly, but in a sick way. He kind of seems like he's enjoying. Let me just play it and you see what I'm talking about. Kobe one were amongst the outliers. You know, so Australia is a true outlier. They uh, orchestrated diagnostics. They 
execute a quarantine policies and they have a death rate in a different league than the other rich countries. I mean, whoa, hold up. Did this guy just say we all need to follow what? He basically said we all need to follow what Australia did. Um we all should lock ourselves up and never come out our homes. We all should. What the fuck? Is <laughs> you serious? You you kidding me, right? So 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 so. This is what he expects of the world. He expects us to act like Australia. That's a joke, right? Mm, okay, let's see. Let's see. Just utterly different. And everybody had the capability to do that. They, you know, have less PCR machines than other rich countries. It wasn't some thing. They had more travelers coming in from China than other countries. So hopefully, um, you know, given the so many negative things, not just the millions of deaths and the economic toll, but the lack of schooling, depression, overdose deaths, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, hard, hard to make the entire list. As you say, you know, for men, more men died. For women, more women had, you know, unacceptable burdens thrust onto them. Uh, so mm. the cost of being ready for the next pandemic is not super large. It's not like climate change where, you know, 10 trillion, 20 trillion, these are big numbers. Uh, you know, global surveillance capability would cost like a billion a year. The R&D that we need to do to get magic uh, vaccines and diagnostics and, and therapeutics. Look at how uncomfortable everyone seems by his answers. You've got three women here. One that is, ex is one at the end, the black woman. She's uncomfortable to even look at this guy. She's scratching herself and looking down. Uh, you got another one that's really like right next to him. That as soon as he said something, she... She looked like, what the fuck? And you got the other one that is sitting to his, uh, let's say, to his uh, right. Huh. It's kind of interesting. They all seem uncomfortable by his answers. And why is because they can tell. They, they You know, this is something that's interesting, right? Uh, tell me not. When you walk into a room throughout your life, right? When you've walked into a room and you felt, you know, you, you can tell when something's off. If something's off, you can tell. You feel it. You feel that, 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 that feeling in the air when something's going to happen, when something's not right. You feel it. Now, it seems like these women feel it. It seems like they know. They all know exactly what's going on here you know that's less than a hundred billion over the next decade so you know if we're rational yes uh, the next time we'll catch it early uh, and it won't go global like it it did this time Bill how call all right so oh man. again this is a two-minute video this is very short I, but I, this is the only reason I did this video is because I really, really, really wanted people to see this. This is ridiculous. Um, it's scary. It's really scary. It's really something that we have here. I wanted you guys to, 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 to be aware of exactly what's going on. I, I'm not sure if any uh, news outlet covered this. I'm not sure who covered this. I don't watch the news. You know, uh, if I do... I, uh, if 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 I happen to come across something, I will bring it up to you. Um, the only reason I ever do is to bring you guys unbiased information, and that. But that's why I don't watch the news. It's because it's biased. It's it has an agenda to it. I don't clearly. I clearly do not have an agenda to bringing. You guys information i want to bring you guys unbiased information i want you guys to decide for yourselves how you guys feel about something make informed decisions based on what i bring you but i'm not controlling how you feel so 
I had to bring you guys this because this is quite telling, uh, you know. And if you guys just caught what I caught, great. If not, watch it back and, 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 and watch it for yourselves. But um, from what I caught, it's a little alarming, guys. It's a little alarming, you know. So take what you want to take from it. I'm not telling you how to feel about this, but I'm telling you how I feel. And it's a little fucking alarming, you know. So uh, I hope everyone has a great evening out there. I hope everyone has a great night. And I hope everyone stays uh, wide awake to what's going on here. You know, be aware. Be aware of what's going on in the world today. You know, we went through the past two years and it's been a little fucking nuts. But that's exactly and precisely why I decided to do this. Because, listen, I need to bring my people. I need to, I need to show people what I see. I need it I, I need to bring people unbiased information because there's in, in a time where everything just seems so coordinated and planned and the narrative is they're trying to freaking it's 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 something that's a little that that needs to stop you know so again that's my job here so I hope everyone has a great evening you know stay aware of what's going on uh, stay happy stay healthy and again, live your life with purpose. No negativity. Be as positive as you can. Try to uplift your fellow man. And and I say that because that's the best way to live right there. Trying to help other people. So my job is to help other people with these videos, okay? So I hope everyone has a great evening. Uh, stay healthy. Stay aware of what's going on. I love you guys. You know, be happy, be healthy. One love. Take care, guys. Have a good evening.